Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today I wanted to talk about my my one month, uh, my one month usage, uh, review so to speak, of speed paints. So I've got all the speed paints, uh, rare, ignore the, obviously the contrast paints up the top, um, on my new Planet X uh, thing, there's a video coming in on this very soon. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about my one month of using the washes, the metallics, and all the speed paints. A couple things um, that stuck out to me. Number one is the drying time. Um, it's high. They dry faster than contrast. Um, I don't know whether it's just the way my the humidity level in my in my house is, um, but. Nonetheless, um, they dried out very, very, very fast. Um, I actually have issues running... I'll try to get the, the high lower blue here. Uh, can't really get a good, uh, good brightness of it. One, two, three, four. Uh, but the high lower blue, um, which is the one I do my Space Marines in, and I'll show you the, the four models that I've done already. They're actually down there at the bottom. Um, actually, I'll get a little closer in, this, in a few seconds here. Let's actually try to get a little closer. There we go. We can just kind of do something like that, yeah. So the High Lord Blue, uh, I was having massive issues running this through my air dryer, or air dryer, my airbrush. Um, it would actually kind of gunk up the airbrush significantly in comparison to a contrast paint. Um, the contrast paints went through perfectly fine, no issues. Um, I found that I have to, keyword is have to, add speed paint medium. So you gotta add uh, this wonderful stuff here, speed paint medium. Um, you have to add it to your paints if you want to be able to properly apply them through the airbrush. Not the biggest fan of that. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the fact that I have to use the medium to use the airbrush so they don't dry out fast enough so they gunk up the needle. Um, that was a big thing. There was actually like swaths on the needle, which I'm going to get into momentarily and point out something that also is really bothering me about them. So they dry out really fast in the airbrush, so you have to use speed paint medium. Number two uh, is the metallics. They go on nicely, but they are too transparent. Um, depending on the color you have behind them, they always bleed through. Um, you have to put them on a white. Say for example, so if you're putting on, like um, I'll show it in, in a few moments, but I use the glittering loot mostly for my Space Marines. You have to put them on a white background, like you have to do a white undercoat, if you want these to work properly. It's unfortunate. Um, what else? Uh, the whoops, <laughs> the washes, perfectly fine, no issues there. Um, oh, and my other big issue with them, um, I think it's this one. You'll see it the best. Look at that. Like, look at all of that gunk around the cap. That is ridiculous. Um, I've got an even bigger uh, one that's even worse. Is it this one? Yeah, see? So I'm gonna gunk there, but I believe the one that's the worst is the one of the ones I use the most, which is the polished silver. I clean these off. There you go. Look at that. Like, look at the amount of gunk hanging around. That. Yeah. The amount that's also I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I don't think it's I think it's too dark. But the amount of stuff I actually have to clean these out every, I clean the, the little nipple there off, every third use, 
and I usually use these three, four, or five times per sitting. Um, they cover great. Um, they're, I mean, they're half the price of 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 uh, of, speed, of, uh, of uh, this of uh, the contrast paints. In my opinion, they're just as good. Um, like I said, my main issues with them are mostly just you know based around. I want to say just daily, day to day maintenance mostly when it comes to them, like the cap issues I have where they're getting all junky. Um, what else? Yeah, that's mostly the main thing. Now, the other problem I have with the metallics is just the sheer amount of mixing you have to do. I have a Vortex mixer. Um, for example, any of the regular paints takes... I usually give it a, a better 20 second count, and I'll give it a handshake, and then maybe I'll give it another like 5-6 seconds. And that 99.9% of the time gets... Most all the speed paints done up, uh, contrast paints, you name it, they all get done pretty, pretty dang fast. Except for the metallics. The metallics take almost twice as long on a vortex mixer. In addition, they separate out super fast. It's just sitting after you put like one little, one or two little drops onto a onto, onto a palette, whether it be wet or dry. Um, they separate. I thought maybe using a wet palette uh, might help keep things a little more, more liquidy. Um, but no, I found that I have to use a secondary brush to stir. Um, which, to me, kind of defeats the purpose. Um, I do notice that I end up with more waste when it comes to speed paints versus contrast paints. But that could be because right now I'm not used to the amount of pressure I need to do. Sometimes I notice I put too many drops, not enough drops. While the pots, you know, you just dip, brush, dip, brush, dip, brush. So that's, you know, neither here nor there. But, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying using them. They're fun to use. Like I said, my main issues are with having to use the medium to keep them from drying too fast. Um, I'll show you the five examples of me actually painting. So this is some dudes from the Leviathan box set. Try to get you a little closer and under the light. Let's turn. Whoop. No, no, let's not. Let's not turn the camera because it's going to click in. Ah, oh, I just <laughs> want to turn you. There we go. I want to get it so that I have a flat run. There we go. So I want to get these guys under the light a little better. There we go. So yeah, um, nice shadows. Like I said, everything on this thing is AP Sweet Bank. Including the metallics for the knife. There's one of the guys from the Furnace Squadron. Like I said, the gold, if I can get the camera to, you know, not be a dink. Amazing. Covers good, but you have to do it under a white undercoating, which is unfortunate. You can see that I did the two-tone silver and brass over here. Um, got some silver and stuff like that on the knife. On the gun, we got some gold as well at the back there. One of the Stern Guard veterans, I believe. Very nice, like I said, very nice, very good. It keeps wanting to focus <laughs> in the background. But yeah. The white cover is nice. I mean, I'll, I'm going to give two little tips after all this. 
There's the the apothecary biologist or whatever this dude is supposed to be called now. Man, amazing, amazing vibrant colors. And then last but not least, the dude who did last night. Sorry about the darkness. It's actually like 12 o'clock at night here, so the only light I got is the one that's above me. But yeah, very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, like I said, a couple things I learned that I definitely want to mention. Let's just zoom out a little bit here. Hey, a little behind the scenes. Yeah, so a few things I wanted to mention. Um, is it bright white? So blinding light is the latest white that you can get. Um, what I would say with this is if you want a very white white, it's to do um, three drops of speed paint medium to one drop of blinding light. Or I have a own little personal concoction which is two drops blinding light, two drops matte white, or me painting matte white, and then four drops of speed paint medium. So it's basically a two to one, and then a two to one. So you could do, if you did uh, two of these, so two of the blinding light, one of the speed paint medium, and then two of the matte white. Or, no, sorry, whoops. So you do a 50-50. So with the, for blinding light, you would do two blinding light drops, two drops of matte white, and then four drops, because you would do two for each of the other colors, of speed paint medium, and it turns into this nice, like, kind of a white wash. Um, that's nice and thin. And what you can do is you can coat things. It takes two coats to coat a lot of stuff, but you get a very, very nice white. Um... I see if I can. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that's actually that. Well, you can kind of see. Well, no, because I put null no, noise. Um, you can kind of see the white on that right there. It's a little, uh, a little sh knee pad there. It's got a little bit of a, a wash on it. You can see it's very, very light. Very, very light. And to be honest with you, it works very good. Um, then you can also change it too. So if you want it to be a little thicker, you add a little bit. You add one extra drop of the matte white, and you remove. So instead of doing two drops of matte white, two drops of uh, blinding light, you would do one of the blinding light, two of the matte, and then um, three of the speed paint medium. Uh, some people do a 3 to 1 speed paint medium to blending light. Now, that does get you a white, but you still get the grays, I find, from the blending light. Another option you can do, which is one I've been doing lately, is mixing just straight up um, a, four, a 3 to 1 mix, or a 2 to 1 mix, one drop of matte white for two drops of speed paint medium. It's very, very thin, very, very <laughs> just runny in general. Um, so you can also, I, I, I'm trying to play with that mix a little bit, um, just to trying to figure out the best way to do it, but I mean, you can mix speed paint medium with the regular paints, and you basically have, um, kind of a speed paint, um, but on the bright side, it covers really well, um, it helps cover things, and it's not kind of a grayish white. Um, that's actually one of my major, major gripes with all of this type of paint, whether it be Vallejo, Army Painter, or Citadel, slash, uh, well, actually, yeah, they go, they go white Citadel now. Um, there's no white. It's, there's always a off-white. It's, you know, like a grayish white or whatever. They have, they, they're like, hey, it's because it has the pigments in it, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, so then why does this, if you're telling me the pigments in this and the pigments in this are the exact same. Why is this one white and why is this one not? Like, I'm not a chemist, 
But at the same time, I look at it and go, okay. Um, but. <laughs> but yeah, so I do a little mix of speed paint and matte white, plus also speed paint with the blinding light to get a nice white. Um, as for the pastels, um, the only pastel I've used so far was on this dude here. And that was to do the whole brain part of the, of the, uh, I think it's a, one of the neuro thing in majiggies with some blue wash and it looked beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my one month review. So far, so good. Uh, like I said, my only complaints really are just maintenance things like having to clean constantly, um, per sitting every time I use them, the caps. Um, on the outside because I'm getting you know gumped up. I haven't had any balls getting uh, mixing balls stuck in the necks um, of any of these bottles yet. Um, I've had a couple clogs when using them for the first time. So all I did was I just had a safety pin and I just popped the safety pin in and kind of jibber jabbered it around for a second. Um, but yeah, so those are all those guys. Um, you should be seeing a Plylodex uh, review video of me putting this thing together and talking about it. I'll give you a hint. Me likey. Um, minus a few things. <laughs> um, overall, yeah. So, speed paints. I think they were worth it for me. Now, whether they're worth it for you, completely different. I can't tell you whether they're worth it for you. Because um, everyone has their own little, uh, their own opinion, and they're entitled to. Um, but overall, yeah. Thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I appreciate you watching this. And uh, I appreciate you watching all my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring you more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.